Hi, good day. This is Michael with Iconesis. Uh, we've had a uh, few inquiries uh, for shooting uh, bugs and insects in the entomology industry, and today I wanted to do a real-time workflow video showing how our products work for it. Um, I've enabled my camera's real-time preview, as you can see my can going back and forth. I'm going to take my subject and place it in front of our camera. So we're just going to place it in the uh, kind of center field of view here. And the first thing that we're actually going to notice here, it's a little bit dark. Um, what we've built into the software is something called exposure simulation when working with a Canon uh, DSLR camera. So I can start to make adjustments to my camera settings through mouse clicks. And as I make those changes, you're going to actually see the result in real time. So our first step here is to optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. That looks pretty good to go there. The second thing that we can do is actually adjust our focal point. And uh, so we're going to drive the lens near and far, and you can actually really start to refine a, a perfect focal point on your subject. So I've just made some changes. Again, I'm going to make a larger change just so you can actually see the uh, focal point changes in real time. And then after you've optimized that, looks pretty good. We're going to zoom back out. We're going to pre-crop our subject. And then we're going to hit our snap button. That's going to capture the image and upload it directly to our computer. And as we can see here, a very high quality result captured in just seconds. So that's going to be our standard workflow live view. Adjust our object. And then we hit our snap button. So we're going to take about, uh, let's take a few different images here of our subject. I'm trying to be pretty careful here. You know, I might move my crop up just a tad. We can see since I moved the object back a little bit, we just want to quickly adjust our focal point. So we're going to say this a little bit further away and let me just view it closer here. Looks pretty good there. Okay, so that'll be our focal point for our third image. And then let's maybe shoot uh, a couple more images here. I'm having a hard time getting them to stand, so I'm going to use a little prop behind our behind our subject here. Okay, and there's going to be our next image. Again, we can choose our focal point should we should we be required. Looks like we're doing really good there. We'll take our fourth image. And then we'll take just one more image, maybe just up the back of the subject. Okay, so these will be our our kind of standard five images. Probably one thing I should have done there is adjusted focal point, but you can see uh, and it turned out quite well. So we've just shot our five images here. Now we can start to make some adjustments. One thing I will mention is should you wish to point out a specific feature or wish to annotate and draw on an image, what you can actually do is start to uh, make some adjustments here. So I'm going to go and draw a, let's just choose color red just because it'll contrast. Um, maybe there's something that a uh, user would wish to uh, communicate. We're going to just Then we can write on here, inspect, inspect here. So it's great for uh, for for uh, communication. Um, we'll save those annotations on the image. Again, you can annotate on any image that is required. Um, the other thing that we can do is let's go ahead and select all our images. We can go on an editing tool. We've got some great editing features. Um, we're going to go ahead. If you watch the RGB color value up here, you can see that that value 255, 255, 255. That is pure white. Uh, we're working with our LumiPad 360 lighting setup, and uh, that's going to allow us to shoot on pure white instantly. Maybe the last thing we wish to do is maybe make some just some small color adjustments, increase our sharpness just a tad. Um, we can make those changes. We can hit apply to all. So in a batch process, we can go and edit all these images. Uh, we also do have batch background removal. Should you require this on a um, kind of a transparent background, we can automatically cut out. Um, just to show you an example of that, I'll go into our background removal tool and I will choose uh, using a solid color. I'm going to take out uh, the white pixels and you can see that area that's kind of being 
um, cut out around the actual subject there. Let's drag this down just a tad. So we can see it's doing a very nice cutout. I'm just going to hit apply. And with this image, it's actually going to cut it out onto a transparent background instantly for us. While you don't see the change there, let me just go into our options. I'm just going to say alpha blending options. Use the checkerboard pattern and let's inspect that first image again. You can see it's on our transparent background so we can put on any background color we do require moving forward. When we're ready to output these, we're just going to call this uh, sample beetle. It's going to battery name. You can choose the also battery size. So maybe we want all these images at 1500 pixels wide. We can do so in a batch process, save to whatever folder we do require. I will hit OK and then you're on to shooting your next subject. Let's go ahead and inspect all these images and uh, we can see it's outputting all these images again resized to 1500 pixels wide uh, should you have any questions let us know um, again the company is Iconesis and uh, uh, we have photography solutions that automate um, still and 360 product photography thank you